just so that this uh, tutorial doesn't get too long, um, you would want to make this, you know, have the variation uh, a little different uh, going into the next section of the bars, into the next four bars, I'd say. But uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to copy and paste it over. Um, and we'll make this loop now, let's see here, a total of eight bars. And uh, let's see what that sounds like. Sounds pretty dope. Uh, let's see what else we got here on uh, sounds here. We have another open hi-hat. Maybe we'd like to uh, incorporate that as well. Uh, let's go ahead and play it and see what it sounds like. Okay, so I just had it uh, played twice here, uh, right before the... Um, the snare drops and uh, I'm sorry the kick drops on the third bar and right before the kick drops on the fifth bar I'm gonna go ahead and make this a full four bar section like that hit command A hit Q on the keyboard to quantize those okay and let's piece that one time over like that alright let's see what that sounds like Nice, okay. Now, um, I brought an effect into this uh, kit too here. Where is it? Let's take a look. And this is a riser effect. This is a very uh, common, commonly used uh, effect in trap uh, beats. And, you know, it gives it sort of a, an ambience um, to uh, rock into the next section of your, uh, your bars. So let's add that to the very end of this uh, eight bar loop and see what it sounds like. simple here just uh, make sure you quantize that also and uh, I think we had one more sound here to deal with so we had these we use this oh yeah the stomp that's right so what I'm gonna do here um, just for shits and giggles is uh, I'm gonna copy over that melody one more time like so let's go ahead and loop off just that section and this gives you an idea what you could do maybe for uh, for the hook of the beat that you're building um, you know, bring variation into your uh, into your drum patterns. Uh, that makes uh, the listener be more interested, and um, you know, have the artist possibly buy your beat. So let's go ahead and uh, add these stomps to it, and uh, see what it sounds like. I just played that out with my keyboard. Again, the more you use your keyboard, the more uh, accustomed you'll be uh, to putting these uh, drum patterns in um, just by knowing where to put them in. But you could take a look at this pattern here. It's very simple. I'm going to go ahead and uh, select them all, Command A, quantize them. All right, bring them all to the same volume level. Let's bring those levels down a bit and let's see what that sounds like. Maybe uh, to make it a little interesting, let's add those hi-hats back into the stomp and see what that sounds like. You, know, you can always reuse uh, certain sections of your drum patterns um, to make it more interesting. So I'm going to make sure I have the right track selected. Uh, select that uh, set of hi-hats, hit Command C and Command V on the keyboard. Great, now maybe we can even add those uh, open hi-hats to that and see what that sounds like. Oops, make sure you select the right track. All right, copy and paste that. That would be pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, you know what to do. Put it in the comment section. If this video helped you out, 
please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll be sure to be posting more tutorials like this. My name is CJ Beats. I'm out for now. Peace.